Hi, everyone, and welcome to another Google Hangout on Air. My name is Tony, and I'm joined by my colleague, Steph. Hi, everyone. And we're from the Google AdWords support team here in Dublin. Today's Hangout on Air is all about how to use Google Analytics to make AdWords better. If you're watching this from our Google Plus page, you'll notice the Q&A feature to the right. Please feel free to pop any questions you have. Pop them in there, and we'll do our best to get to them at the end. If you're watching this as a... A recorded event on our YouTube channel. You notice we have the description box below with timestamps, and that will allow you to skip ahead to the sections that you're most interested in. Make sure also to subscribe to that YouTube channel. That'll give you an opportunity to stay up to date with all the latest Hangout on Airs and also our quick tip videos. Okay, Steph, let's go ahead and get started. Very excited about this. Thanks, Tony, and hi again, everyone. So hopefully by now you've all seen our previous videos on how to get started with Google Analytics and how to make your way around the basic reports that we have. So what we're going to talk about today is a few key reports which we think are really helpful to help you organize your AdWords campaign better. Great. Well, look, let's get started right away, Steph. And I think let's get started with locations. Choosing a location, very, very tricky sometimes. How can Google Analytics help me with that? Good question, Tony. So Google Analytics is a great tool. And what it does is it tracks all the traffic to your site. So it can pinpoint the locations where your users are based. And more importantly, it can pinpoint where those users are converting the most. So you can be very specific. You can go from looking at your country right down to the region and the city. And then you can use that information to be a little bit more specific with your AdWords account. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how to do that within your AdWords um, analytics account. So to do that, you just hop over to your analytics account and you go to your reporting section. So from reporting, I'm going to go through to the audience section. And then I'll, instead of going for overview, I'm going to go down to Geo and then click on Location. So you can see a lovely pretty map here. Um, and when you scroll down, you can see some more information about your top performing countries, or rather your top visited countries. So you've got the United States, you've got Canada, Japan, India, and the United Kingdom. So if I, for example, clicked into the United States here, it then takes me through to the regional or the state section where I can see a lovely map, and I can see that California seems to be getting a lot of the sessions, a lot of the visits. And so no, what su I can no surprise. Really no surprise, <laughs> exactly. Um, that's it. So what you can do is if you scroll down, you can actually see that California is there with 13,000 visits, or rather sessions, followed by New York, Texas, Florida, and then Illinois. And then if I want, we can even go further down and go into the city <clears> section. So for example, you can see that Mountain View is number one, uh, followed by New York, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Chicago. So really, this is a great way for you to actually see where your traffic is coming from and to see if there's any areas that you might be missing out on which you don't have in your AdWords campaign. So now that I know what my top, rather my top sort of three cities are, I'm going to go into my AdWords account and optimize my campaign. So to do that, you just switch over to your AdWords account and you'll go through to your campaign and then your settings tab and then location. So what you can see here is I've, I'm only targeting California right now, but if you remember, New York was quite a good performer for us. So what I can do is I can add New York as a city. It's pretty important to us, getting lots of traffic. So what I'll do is I'll click on the red button, clicking on plus locations, and then type in New York. There it is, New York. I might also want to add in Mountain View as well because it was number one. So I might want to have a slightly different bid for Mountain View. So I'll add that there and then press Save. Great, so now what you see is I've got California, Mountain View, and New York, and I can have different bids. So let's say, for example, most of my traffic is coming from Mountain View, so I might maybe have a slightly higher bid of, say, 15%, so I can do that. And I can also do something similar for New York, so maybe not as much, I might say, go for 10%. Great, and that's how you use location targeting to you know, specify your AdWords section. That's really, really insightful stuff. Thank you for that, Steph. And I think hopefully that opens up a few more avenues for you when you decide on how to set your target location and use that location bid adjustment. Really cool feature in AdWords. So that's a great starting point, Steph. Tell us, what's the next step? OK, so the next step is doing something very similar for mobile. So with um, the mobile devices report, you can see what people are using when they're actually searching for you. So are they using their desktop? Are they on their phones or on their tablets? So to do this, I'm just going to pop back onto my analytics account. 
go under audience, you'll scroll down and you actually see that we have mobile and overview. So just tick that box there. So what I can see here is that the majority of my traffic is coming from desktop, so people on their PCs and on their laptops, followed by mobile and followed by tablets. But like I said, it's, you can say with analytics, one of the great things that you can do, Tony, is you can actually mm. segment the different data points that you're seeing. So for example, if you scroll up, you can actually segment. So I'm curious to find out how much of this is coming from paid search, for example. So I'm just going to look for paid search in my analytics segmentation, paid traffic rather, and then press apply. Right, so what you see here, all sessions from desktop, quite a few, um, very few, rather, very few are coming from paid traffic. What's interesting here is my mobile traffic. I've got about 30,000 visits from phones, and 11,000, so over a third, are coming from mobile. So that's telling me a lot of my advertisers mm -hmm. are searching for me on the go, and that's a really good opportunity and one that we shouldn't miss. So what we can use with this information, this devices report, is we can go back into our campaign section within our AdWords account, and then update our bidding to make sure that we're reaching the best position possible within our, um, our devices section. So underneath settings, just move to devices, and you can adjust your bid. So just click on that option there. Might maybe go a little bit higher, so say 15%. Try and make sure that I'm always number one and when I'm, people are looking on their phones. Great. Again, Steph, really insightful, and hopefully will help a lot of, uh, a lot of you advertisers out there that are really trying to optimize for mobile, becoming much more important um, with the growing mobile uh, at the moment. So, Steph, finally, how can we be more strategic with our campaign structure using Google Analytics? Exactly. Okay, so my final report I want to show you is the landing pages report. And what this does is it shows you the most popular pages on your site. Essentially, what it's doing is it's showing you the top performing pages where you have the opportunity to possibly expand your campaign. So to do this, we're going to pop back into the analytics account. And what we're going to do is we're, instead of we're going to move out of the audience section, we'll move down to behavior, go to site content, and then landing pages. Just for looking at this data, I'm going to remove my segmentation of paid traffic and just look at everything, just to make it a little bit clearer. And then what I can see is my top performing pages. So essentially, which pages are getting the most traffic? So I can see you've got the home page. That would be typical for most sites. Most people end up on the home page first. But then you can also see other sites, um, other pages on the site, which are getting very good traffic. So a really good section to be looking at here when you analyze this landing page, page data is the bounce weight column, which is the one just here. So if everyone can see that there. So what the bounce weight column does is it basically shows you the percentage of sessions um, where people just visit one page. So essentially someone lands on the site and they don't visit any other pages before they leave. It's a great measure of seeing how engaging your site is. Do people want to stay on and visit other sections of your site? So Really, Tony, when you're looking at your bounce weight, you want to ideally make it close to zero. You want people to always come into your mm. site and then visit other pages. And never leave, Steph. And never leave. Exactly. <laughs> That's what you want. Or leave when they've bought something. Um, so what you want to do here is you can see that the home page has a fairly good bounce weight. So you know, nearly two-thirds of people would go on to other pages and they'd stay in for a little bit longer. But then you can also see that some pages aren't performing as well. So for example, page number four and page number five have relatively high bounce rates and so does page number seven. So what this tells you is that you'd want to try to avoid using these pages in your ads, because if people aren't necessarily engaged, you don't necessarily want to pay for that traffic. And that's the landing page report for you there. Perfect stuff. Really, really interesting stuff. Thank you again um, for going through that for us and all of the advertisers that are with us. Um, I can see that we have uh, we have a few questions. Unfortunately, we've run out of time, um, but we will do our best to uh, follow up with the answers after this, so stay tuned for that, and thank you for engaging with us today. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, that will keep you up to date with all of our videos and all of our help, so please do make sure to do that. And don't forget that if you have any questions about anything AdWords related, you can get in touch with us via phone support, 24-hour chat support, or through most social media platforms. Thank you very much for joining us today and have a great day. Bye, everyone.